Howdy y'all, I'm Lee Wilson from Two Guys Outdoors and uh, what I'm going to do now is show you guys a breakdown of the MSR Mini Works EX. Now I uh, used this in the Hames camping trip if you guys have watched that video or the actual field test video. Well I'm back home now and it's time to kind of get the whole thing set up. So I've got it laid out here completely broken down on my bed and uh, what I've done is I've washed all the parts except for the actual filter element here in hot soapy water and so it is ready to be reassembled so I figured I'd show you guys how this works. Now this is the entire component package everything that the the filter is and uh, everything from the scrubby pad to the bag to the pump handle and all the pistons the <clears throat> inlet valve, the upper assembly, the body and the actual end cap. Now the MSR instructions say to lubricate the O-rings with either MSR silicon lubricant, Vaseline, or lip balm. Well, I actually have the field maintenance kit for this pump, and it comes with a tube of uh, lubricant, but I want to save that. It's uh, sealed, so I want to save that until I'm actually ready to use that in the field. So, <clears throat> good old Vaseline. This is all you really need for the O rings here. Now there are a few O-rings that really need the lubricant. The main body O-ring right here on the actual filter body, filter housing, that needs to be lubricated. And MSR says on their instruction sheet, it just takes a very thin film to lubricate this. That's the great thing about Vaseline here is it's real, real easy to apply. You just kind of make sure you have a nice thin bit of it and you don't want to over lubricate because if you over lubricate well lubricants are always just attractants for dirt so that is an, a very thin film on the o-ring and that's probably good for that your actual uh, filter o-ring does not need to be lubricated next step that needs to be or next o-ring that needs to be lubricated is the actual piston assembly o-ring so you're just going to put a nice thin film of lubricant on the actual piston o-ring and that's more than good enough and then there is right here this is part of the check valve assembly you just need a little bit of lubricant right along there to make sure that seals up properly so that's pretty much your three O-rings that are going to be need need to be lubricated. It's a very very simple process. Now for how this whole thing goes back together. We have our piston and our handle body. Hopefully everything's in the frame here. This will go into here. There is a small capture pin that slides through this assembly and allows this to pivot. And you just put the other side in. I'm trying to make sure we're all in the frame here. And there's your piston assembly this goes into the upper housing as such and it is directional so you know you gotta make sure you get, the, get it right and take our other capture pin here stick that right there push that through and we now have a properly lubricated and functioning pump handle with no squeaking so <clears throat> we have our duckbill valve here, and this is key. There's an itty bitty little tiny washer that needs to go in the duckbill. That then your mainspring sits right there. Then that actually goes into your inlet. So your duckbill is going to go into the uh, upper housing, just like this. And then you're going to compress the spring a little bit, and you're going to screw this on, being very careful not to cross thread the screws. Now this just needs to be snug, doesn't need to be cranked down super tight, you know, because it just doesn't. So that's nice and snug. So now <clears throat> we have our umbrella valve here, which this is very simple. If you're getting clogging or losing pressure, you just pinch it, pull it off, and that's your umbrella valve. There's three little holes in here, which actually are two holes that direct the water in. So your umbrella valve just sits right in there. And now, what we have, and you can tell there's good suction. I'm, I'm plugging the hole right here, and there's good suction. So, we have 
this whole setup done. And since this assembly has been lubricated properly, we take our O-ring here, we're going to place this on the bottom of our filter element, put our filter element into the main housing, and then simply screw this on. Now MSR warns against over tightening, so what they suggest doing is screw it tight and back it off an eighth of a turn. So now we have the whole unit going. All we have to do is reattach, if I can do this here, our uh, inlet hose, which I also have thoroughly washed. You can see there. And then I've washed this as well. You can see down here, this is the bottom of the filter element and the O-rings sitting in there. We just screw our cap back on, lift our handle up, wind our hose around the filter body, push the handle down, and there it is. And that's all there is to maintaining this thing. Uh, one thing I am going to do is, uh, since I have been using this filter out in the field, is I'm going to boil the filter element. MSR recommends completely submerging the filter element minus the O-ring in water and then bringing it up to a rolling boil for five minutes and then uh, letting it cool back down and then dry for four or five days. So that is uh, my plan. I'm going to boil the filter element and the whole thing's clean now and very pleased with the filter. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you maintain it. Um, Field maintenance is about the same. You wet down your scrubby pad, scrub the element, wash it off a little bit, and stick it back in and go. So, couldn't be more pleased with the filter. So, hopefully, you guys have found this informative on how the MSR Mini Works EX works and how to maintain it after you get home. All right, thank you much. You guys have a good one.